Hi, my love. Welcome to another episode of New Beginnings, a seven days yoga series to begin the year together. So today is all about restart. We're going to be going to movements, maybe, and a little variation into poses that you might have been familiar with throughout. Going to be incorporating a little unfamiliarity into it, and hopefully add a little fun into the practice. Without further ado, let's begin. Come to tuck your toes behind you, as you sit onto your toes in a kneeling position. Allow your index finger to flick both pinkies out so that you get similar. Pressure on all toes. Once you feel that, sit tall and allow your left palms to come to your heart and your right palm to come to your lower belly, connecting to our core. As you close your eyes and allow yourself to come to the present, let your breath be your guide. And take this moment to show up. Today is all about exploring and leaning into changes, unfamiliarity. So embrace that spirit today through the practice, maybe. And I encourage you to be open-minded. Okay, let's begin. Release both arms in front of you. Come to tabletop as you release both toes, allowing it to wriggle, sending a little blood flow there in areas you've compressed. Give it a little circle through the angle as well. This should feel amazing. Well, it did at least to me. <laughs> And untuck both toes. And sit back into your kneeling. This time, slowly walking both arms back. As you come to lean back, lifting through both knees until you feel stretch to the front of your feet. Oftentimes, we neglect this part of our feet, and we don't give them enough attention. So let's do that today, right? Send some love to our ankles. All right. Slowly walk back to the front, and this time reaching both arms forward, forming a fist as you form gentle circle to your wrist one way and the other. Again, sending a little love and attention to your wrist, which we may not have given enough love. Good. Once you give a little warm to both joints here, come to release both palms in front of you. Lift to your hip and walk yourself back into a forward fold at the back of your mat. Bend to both knees generously, shifting your weight towards the front of the feet, allowing a lengthening to that lower back here. And exhale, release both palms to the ground. This time, bending through your left knee, straightening through the right knee. Before you lift your left arm up towards the sky, come into a gentle twist. Your left foot is on your tippy toe here. Explore this new gentle twist through the forward fold. Next, heel release. Come back down, straightening through both knee, and this time opening towards the right side, bending through the right knee on your right tippy toe. Experiencing that gentle twist. Allow yourself to take one breath in, and exhale. Come back down to center. Walk yourself forward. Come to plank pose. Notice the engagement through your core. Explore how it feels like to walk yourself forward, and now walk yourself back, back into forward fold. 
embracing the spirit of exploration as you walk forward and back for two more rounds at your own pace. Observing each time as you land your palm forward and back, the weight distribution and the anchor within the body. Final round, walk yourself back up to plank and this time maybe shift forward and back, noticing again the weight distribution and engagement to your core before you shift your hips up and back into downward dog. Find a rooting sensation through the heel, not necessarily rooting, as you pedal through and find your grounding before settling down into stillness in your downward dog. Take one deep breath in, deep cleansing breath. Come back to the intention to explore and lean into discomfort in today's practice. Breathe in, lift your right foot up and high, three-legged dog. Tiptoe to the left foot before you shift and bend your right knee forward, knee to chest, planting your right foot in between both palms, lowering the back knee. Finding that stability before you root to rise, lifting both arms up to the sky. Great. Come to lift the front foot up to the ball of your knee into a tiptoe and exhale lower down the heel to the ground, repeating for two more rounds, tippy toe. Next, heel fanning both arms to the side before you lift to the back knee and shift yourself into a twist towards the right side. Front knee above front ankle and come to your tippy toe to the front foot for three rounds again. For three, two, notice the discomfort, embrace it, and one. Slowly lower through the back arm and reach your front arm across and over to the back. Coming to your revolve reverse. Again, come to your tippy toe here for three rounds to the front foot if you can. Challenge yourself. Notice the discomfort here for three, two, one. Swivel pivot to the back foot 90 degree. Both arms spread open. Come to find your warrior two. Incorporating a tiptoe to the front foot again for three, two, one. Good job. Now straightening to the front knee, swivel the front foot to face the side. Lifting both arms up to the sky, engaging to the core as you slowly tilt forward in your white legged forward fold. Take your time to reach there. Take this time to center yourself. Notice any shaking, any staggering. It's perfectly normal, it's part of the process. And slowly, once you find your maximum, allow both palms to release to the ground. Maybe by the side of both feet here. Come to find your wide legged forward fold. Okay. On your next breath in, slowly rise back up to stand. Pivot both feet to face 45 degree angle as you sit down into your goddess pose. Both palm propping on both thigh as you allow your left shoulder to shift forward, right shoulder to shift back. Come into a gentle twist, you're bending to the right elbow your goddess allowing a gentle twist to twist away whatever no longer serves you come back to center both palms to meet in front of your heart and you come to tiptoe alternate tiptoe to your goddess pose here as you tiptoe on the right and the left for three rounds before coming to tiptoe maybe challenge yourself to tiptoe both 
Come to your goddess tiptoe here for three, two, you can do it, one. Good job. Release and shift forward. Come to your warrior one here. So open wide if you need to. Front feet to face forward. Back foot to pivot 45 degree angle. Squaring through the hips. And you lift both arms up towards the sky, finding your warrior one. Front knee remain over front ankle for three, two, one. Like to the back foot, lifting your back knee towards the front, half to dasana, standing on your right foot. Come to final three pose here as you guide your left foot to plant on the inner thigh of your right leg. Opening your left knee to the side, opening to the hips, allowing both palms in front of your heart and tilt forward. Allowing your torso to be parallel to the ground, find that balance, engaging to that core, a lot of things happening here. Encourage yourself to embrace this newness. Maybe through the pose. Great. Slowly come back up. Embrace that unfamiliarity. Lifting both arms up to the sky. Come back to your half to dasana. And this time, kick your left foot back. Both arms to your side here. Shoulder blades hugging up together. Come to your warrior tree. Soaring here. And exhale, planting the back foot down, likely bending to the front knee. Allow your left arm to drop to the side of your front leg as you reach up to the right arm. Come to an easy threes. Exhale, lower down both palms. Come to find your vinyasa. So chaturanga, shifting down an upward dog before reaching back into your downward facing dog. Take a breath here to collect yourself. Notice how you chart through your territories earlier as you journey in each pose, the feelings that arise. Take one breath in. And moving on to the left side, inhale, lifting left foot up, tiptoe through the right. And exhale, shift forward and down, planting your left foot in between both palms. And lifting both arms up towards the sky. Good. Tiptoe three times to the front foot. And notice how this side feels different than the other side. Good. Once you're there, lift to the back knee, fanning open both arms to the side. And again, three times of lifting through that front foot into the tippy toe, which I've forgotten about, but you may do it before you swivel and do a gentle twist towards your left side. Revolve, high lunge. Again, lifting through the tippy toe for three rounds, if you may. Noticing how you're getting a bit more familiar, maybe, through the poses. Great. Exhale, come into your reverse revolve lunge as you reach your front arm across and over to the back. Tiptoe for three rounds again. Find that balance, maybe a little better this time. And exhale, swivel forward as you fan both arms open to the side, pivot your back foot 90 degree. Come to find your warrior two. Pinkies draw back and tiptoe through the front for three, two, one. Good. Straightening through that front knee as you swivel your front foot to face the side of the mat. Lifting both arms up to the sky. Engage your core. Option for the arm to be by the side of your hips as you slowly tilt forward, down. Back remains straight all the way down to the ground slowly releasing both palms to the ground come to find your white-legged forward fold 
You may bend to the knees if you need to. Take one deep breath here to reset. And exhale, slowly come back up. Rising up to stand at your own pace. And notice how you feel here. Swivel both feet to point towards the corners of the mat, 45 degree angle, as you sit down into your goddess pose. Both palms on your thigh as you twist towards the right side, allowing your left shoulder to reach forward. Good. Come back to center, both palms to the heart or open by your knees again alternate tiptoe to your goddess for three rounds and if you want to challenge yourself again you may lift both foot up to tiptoe at the same time one last breath to hold and exhale release front foot to face forward back foot pivot 90 degree bend through the front knee come to square your hips to the front of the mat and lift both palms up to the sky warrior one great finding stability maybe catch a breath here before you light through the back foot and lift the back knee towards the front half to dasana once you find your stable grounding and rooting through the left foot Slowly guide your right foot towards the left inner thigh or the left shin. Wherever you're at through the practice, allow yourself to be there, fanning open through the right knee to the side, finding balance. And once you grab hold of a balance, a sense of balance, allow yourself to lean forward. How do you into a halfway lift three variation leaning into discomfort maybe leaning into uncharted territory chest open heart open open mind embracing all the tumbles the shaking and inhale come back up to center Come to find your lifting knee again in front of you before you kick back into your warrior tree. Hips are squared, fanning both arms to the side. Light through the back foot, slowly land your back foot down and come to plunge your right arm down to the ground, lifting your left palm up, finding your easy twist. Reaching the left arm forward, and down and we're coming into our vinyasa or come back down straight into your downward dog option is yours so take your chaturanga and shift forward and down elbows hugging in your upward dog chest forward and your downward facing dog one deep cleansing loving breath here Thank yourself for having the courage to explore, to be open throughout the practice. And exhale, slowly shift back into forward fold before you sit your hips back and lift up into your chair pose. Sitting your hips lower. And again, no surprise here anymore. Tippy toe. Come on your tippy toe, the ball of your foot, and hold for three. Sit back a little more. Two. You can do it. One. Good job. Fold forward. And we're nearing the end of the practice here. Come to sit down. You deserve it. Maybe feeling a little sore through the feet. So give your feet a little flex maybe. Come to lie down on your back. And lift both leg up give a little gentle massage to the shin to the calf and lifting both arms up to the sky both leg to the sky and give a little shake giving yourself a little shake allow your body to recalibrate here close your eyes 
close your eyes as you find the stillness, both arms and legs remain up in the sky. Allow yourself to breathe and exhale, maybe catching hold of the outer edge of both feet and drawing them to the ground, bending through both knees, drawing both knees to the armpit. Coming to your happy baby, tailbone pointing forward, grounding through the back. Shoulders remain grounded. Close your eyes, take your time to allow your hips to open. Allow yourself to release whatever no longer serves you, releasing that burden so that you can restart with a fresher mind more open mind so that you may welcome new beginning with an open mind where do we fall is it our call can fate be good slowly draw both knees back to center hugging both knees in exhale allow both knees to fall to one side Shoulder remain grounded to the side here. Allowing a gentle twist into your body. Wringing out any final burden. Lifting both knees back up and allow it to fall to the other side shoulders grounded allowing yourself to slowly settle here allowing your body to quiet down as you draw both knees to the center and send both feet out wide to the corners of the mat, allowing both arms to splay open by your side, palms facing up. And close your eyes, allow yourself to lean in into the savasana. If you want, you may allow your left palm to rest on top of your heart, your right palm to your lower belly to connect to your core. Thank yourself here for being willing to show up today in this practice with an open mind, with an open heart to embrace change, discomfort, uncharted territories, and maybe carry this spirit off the mat as you embrace new change, new beginning coming into the new year as you restart. Food for thought. We are going to end our practice here today. Thank you all for showing up and joining. I hope you have an amazing day ahead and I hope this practice allows you to be a little kinder and have a little more courage to embark on a new beginning. Till next time!